Now we are going to start solve solutions for group theory algebra. I have booklet B on which it is 79th question. If you have any other booklet, say in A, it is 83rd question and C, it is 87th question. The question is based over properties of a group or its quotient group. They have given this structure, the collection of all such matrices, upper triangular, A, B, C, D, real, A, B, D, real and it is 1. And H another, you can, you can see the question, it is displayed on your screen as well. See, to start question, what I suggest, homomorphism is a wonderful idea to get something about a group. We define homomorphism only to anticipate the properties of a group without actually knowing the group. Sometime, like here, the core idea of this question is, if you find this homomorphism, define f from g to g in this way, you can verify this is group respect to multiplication. So, be careful, verify this is homomorphism. Of course, this is member of G, though B is 0, but this is member of G. And now, the identity element in G is what? That normal identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1, that's the identity matrix. So, if B is 0, then if this B is 0, its image has to be identity if then A and D has to be 1. So, kernel F is this and range, obviously this is the range. Now, let's go to the option. First option, G form group under matrix multiplication. I think you can easily verify. You can take one step test considering this G is a subset of GL2R. So, use one step test over G, you can verify this is a subgroup and hence group itself. H is normal subgroup of G. Their H is nothing but our kernel and we know kernels are normal in the domain. Third, they are saying the quotient group GYH is well defined and is abelian. See, my quotient group here I am using fundamental theorem on homomorphism which says GY kernel F is isomorphic to F of G. So, here my GY H is isomorphic to G prime, I should say, this is A 0 0 D and A D belongs to R and A into D is 1. So, option 2 is correct because it is kernel. Option 3 is also correct because H is a normal subgroup. Whenever H is normal, G Y H is well defined and here G Y H is isomorphic to G prime which is collection of diagonal non-singular matrices and such group is abelian, you can easily see that A00D zero zero into X00Y zero zero is equal to AX00DY zero zero which is equal to X00Y zero zero A00D. Zero zero so, this is also correct. The quotient group GYH is well defined and is abelian and third the quotient group GYH is well defined and is isomorphic to the group of 2 cross 2 diagonal matrix over R with determined 1. You can see easily this single homomorphism gives you all the possibilities. So, finally the answers are 1, 2, 3 and 4. In fact, all the 4 are answers. Answers are 1, 2, 3 and 4. Thank you.